All right. So we're in photo P. I have built my assets file from a duplicate of my exercise two, which has all of these different shape vectors. And the problem is that's a lot of assets to deal with. So I'm going to clean them up. But before I do that, I'm going to compose it into a square, which I've done. I did it with canvas size. I made it 12 by 12 inches. But now I need to actually make it the finished animation format. So I'm going to go to image, image size. Now that it's cropped to a square, and I'm going to make it 8 inches by 8 inches. And I'm going to resample. So I have resample checked. And I'm going to make it not 300 pixels per inch, which is standard minimum print resolution. I'm going to make it 100 pixels per inch, which is basically a high def screen resolution. Sometimes I do 150, sometimes I do 120. I very seldom actually build a project at 72 pixels per inch because that gives you no leeway if you wanted to grow it because that's the minimum for screen. So we're doing it 8 by 8 inches by 100 pixels per inch. My next step is I have to know which of these pieces of my paper doll here are actually going to change and need to be separate layers that I can animate, just like paper dolls. So this is already my first frame, and now it's at the right pixel dimensions, 800 by 800 pixels. Now it's time to make my stage. So I'm going to select every layer. You might have three layers. You might have 50 layers. Select all of them. Hold down Option, and then go to Layer, Merge Layers. The shortcut for it is Command-E, but you have to hold down Option while you do Command-E. So I'm going to try that too. Select every layer by holding down Shift and clicking at the top and then at the bottom. Then I'm going to hold down Option, Command-E. And you see what it does. It gives you a perfect merged layer at the very top. Once you have that, you're going to select it, and you're going to hit Command-A to select it all. You'll see the little marching ants around the image. And then you're going to do Edit Copy, or the shortcut for Edit Copy, which is Command-C. And now we are going to create a new photo P file by going to File New. And if we copied it, then our project is on the clipboard. And you see how it's 800 by 800 pixels? And we're going to name it Carl Assignment 3 Stage, not Assets. And I want it at 800 by 800 pixels, but I want it at 100 pixels per inch, which is the same as 8 by 8 inches by 100 pixels per inch. Then I create. Now. That showed up when I said File New in Photopy because I had already copied that dimension for my first frame. And now I'm going to go to Edit Paste to paste it in. This is my film strip. My stage are my finished film strips. So I'm going to use the props in the room for a second. This is a collection of your assets. I have a background, I have a character that I can move on its own layer. I might even have different heads that I pop in for the character as different assets. And then I have props, things that might be in front of my character or that my character interacts with. All of those go into my toy chest that is called my assets file. So I can have lots and lots of layers. Right now, my assets file has just tons and tons of shapes, some of them with layer effects on them. The stage file is when I do this. When I take out my camera, and I set up the shot I want, and then I take a picture. That is what is the stage, the stage file is for, all those sequential images. So the assets is for setting up all your little toys, all your different layers can be the 
is shot in the neck, then you capture it and move it over to the stage, and then it becomes a film scene. And in that way, you can get pretty complex. So that's my first frame. I've now got my animation started, and I'm going to save it. File, save as a PSD. I'll save it to the desktop as my stage file. And then immediately, I want to make sure I know where it is and that I can see it. And I mark my stage file as blue. And then remember, in my folder, I have my assets file. And that will be marked as green. So now I've got a, an assets file here, a stage file here, and they're both open in Photopea. And if I want them to match exactly, I'm going to hit Command-0. So they're both framed on the screen the same way. Boom, boom. What's the difference? My assets file has every layer that makes up the image. My stage file just has the animation frames. So looking at my sketch, what's my next frame? Hands need to come in. So that's going to be new frames. So what's the first thing I need to do? I need to delete the merged layer. So I hit Command D to deselect and then delete so that merged layer doesn't hide what I'm doing anymore. And now I'm going to organize these assets. And this can take some time, but it's worth it. I have to think about my whole story and what things are going to change. What things do I need to keep on their own layer? My must mustache is going to change, but it's not going to change in terms of the little shadows on it. So all these I can select and then merge together with layer merge layers or command E. And now all of those are on one. And then I can also merge that with this shape, right? And this shape. So if I have auto select layer, I should be able to find them. Yeah, so these two shapes. Now I'm going to merge those together, command E. And then I'm going to move that on up. to merge with the shadows. So I'm going to merge all of those. Command E. Up, oh, but I need to put this one under. Nope, that didn't work. So you're going to find with your smart objects that you're going to need to rasterize them. You can merge a shape into a shape, but to blend them with certain effects and things, you're going to need to rasterize them. So then I move them all together, and now it is all one layer. And now I need to move that underneath the nose. Does that kind of make sense? And as I've organized that, I'm going to label it. Because that's going to be one of the things that changes. Basically, my animation is going to do a whole bunch of stuff with the hat in order to, from here to here, just get rid of the mustache. So I need to make sure that's a clear asset. I might even mark it with a color. I'll make it yellow. What's next? The hat. The hat is a very important asset. So I've got a lot of components that build it. They go from here up. I'm going to try merging them all together, but if I do that, you notice how it all makes one color. That's because they're still shape layers. So I need to go through and I need to rasterize them. Sometimes you can do it all at once. There we go. So now they're all rasterized, and now I can merge them together. And now that hat is one layer asset. And that's going to be a really important one. I'm going to mark it as red. And I'm going to label it hat. Save my progress. Command S. All right, so now I've got the hat as a clear asset. The mustache as a clear asset. What else is changing? 
trying to keep it pretty simple. I'm not going to mess with the eyes or the nose at all. So all of these I can rasterize. Well, let's not be too hasty because maybe I do want to play with them. For instance, it would be really easy to play with these. This layer, I'm going to mark it blue. And where's the other one? I have auto select on, so it should find it. And this layer, I'm going to mark it blue. Really easy to play with the pupils. Does that make sense? So I'm going to take both of these pupils and I'm going to try to merge those together. First I'm going to rasterize them and then merge. Call them blue. Call them the pupils because they're not the eyes, they're just the black dots in the eyes. Why might I want to use those? Well because if they're all one layer then I can move them like this. And now each time my character gets revealed, maybe his eyes are in a slightly different spot. Ooh. Make sense? All right. Now the problem is you got to think in terms of compositing. The stuff that's on top of the eye is blocking it. So I'm going to take all three of those that make the monocle, and I'm going to rasterize them, and then I'm going to merge them. And I'll mark that as gray and call it the monocle. Not quite sure if that's how you spell it, but it works. Right. Then I've got the pupils. Then I've got all this stuff behind that I'm going to rasterize and merge. This is just to make it an easier to use set. And then I've got this stuff. And all of this can actually be merged and rasterized as well with, uh oh, with what's above the mustache. Sorry, just these two. So I'm going to merge those. I'm going to move them above the mustache. Oh, that's why I have it separate for that little tag there. So that's going to be the uh, it's the character's right eye, but I'm going to say eye to left because I see it on my left. I'm going to mark that with orange. Then what is this? Well, this is going to be the eye, the nose and right eye or eye to right. Now I'm not usually fussy and I don't usually label my layers, but in this case, it's so helpful because you're going to be toggling these on and off in order to get different effects in your animation. And then I have this black, and then I have this blue, and I'm rethinking this black. Maybe I want this to be something else. Like maybe I want to add a gradient to it. So I can use a layer style. And play with the scale of that gradient. Maybe give it a slight color. So let's see, what if it's... What if it's like a dark green? And then what if about here it goes to even darker? Okay, so now I'm going to play with this gradient. And it's just a little bit more interesting than the black. Maybe I reverse it. 